the Nintendo Switch has ushered in a new age of gyro aiming. The Steam Deck also has a gyro, but the issue with it is that it's not directly exposed to emulators and whatnot, so gyro behavior isn't as expected. Until now, that is. Thanks to a brand new tool called Steam Deck Gyro DSU. According to YouTube analytics, only about 12% of you guys subscribe to my channel. And here's to hoping this percentage number goes up. So if you like my content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, join my Discord server, and also enable notifications. This is the star of the show here, Steam Deck Gyro DSU, created by two developers. K Mickey and IB Nobody. The main purpose of this tool is to expose the Steam Deck's gyro values directly to emulators that support the DSU protocol. So what the heck do we need this for? Can't you just use Steam input to do this? Yes and no. Technically yes, as in you can have the Steam input register as a mouse and have your mouse register as gyro. But that's kind of a janky solution and it's not true gyro. And the results aren't typically as expected, unfortunately. DSU is a standard used by Simu Hook to give Simu motion capabilities, but other emulators have appropriated this standard. More specifically, Yuzu has appropriated the standard, which means this tool will work great with Yuzu. Disclaimer: This tutorial video requires the use of the Linux terminal. Don't be intimidated as it's just one line, but if you're not comfy, don't do it. High tech low life is not responsible if anything goes wrong with your deck, by the way. First, you'll want to visit the GitHub page. Secondly, you'll want to open the console app. This is the default Linux terminal app on the Steam Deck. Thirdly, you'll want to copy paste this right here. This is the command that will install this and run it on your Steam Deck. To uninstall, you'll want to copy that one below. Once copied, you just paste it and then you run it. it may require a little nudge from your on-screen keyboard. Set yourself up a pseudo password. If you've yet to do so, then you can set one up by running this command before you start this entire process. Once you type your password in, it's already installed. Now you just have to restart your entire Steam Deck. Now launch Yuzu and go to your control settings. You'll notice that due to some stupid bullcrap, this indicator blocks the button you need to press to set motion controls. There's a little separate menu that you can use to test this to make sure that everything works just fine. As you can see here, I'm waggling the Steam Deck right now. And it works. It received motion data. You wanna know how I solved that stupid bullcrap button blocking it? I just plugged my Steam Deck into a bigger display. Click on the motion button, shake your Steam Deck, and it should automatically detect your motion input. And you're done. You no longer need to go into this menu. The best part is that this stuff persists in game mode as well, meaning you don't have to go into desktop mode to play with gyro. That said, for all of your Wii games, or maybe just Yuzu itself, if you added it to Steam, your best option is to go into Steam Input and disable the Steam Input's gyro because you won't be needing that for Yuzu anymore. And here's Breath of the Wild on Yuzu. If you're gonna play Breath of the Wild, definitely play on Simu instead. I picked this game because, well, it's easy to demonstrate, really, and I already had it, so, you know. I also tried it with Mario Odyssey as well, with the shake controls, and it works great. I just couldn't record it because it, I don't want to record it, okay? There you go. True Nintendo Switch gyro aiming. There are other emulators that can make use of this motion input, like Simu. The hope is that more emulators can make use of this motion data that's being output by the Steam Deck. Because you know what I really want to play? I want to play WarioWare Twisted. And you know how hard that's going to be on the Steam Deck? It's going to be hard because MGBA doesn't support this protocol. Not yet, and I'm not sure if it ever will. So who knows. 